What is up everybody and welcome to FLW videos. In today's episode, we will be extending the experiment in relation to what is the best way to hatch yourself some eggs in Pokemon Go and then of course gain some distance along the way. We end up going with some more traditional routes in the past episodes where we were either just jogging with the phone in our pocket, with our hand, riding a bike, riding a bike while waving our arms, and then finally coming to the conclusion that staying home, moving your arm up and down was one of the better options, but it ended up getting beat out by just putting your phone in a sock and bouncing it up and down for a little while. Well, that kind of makes sense because it does simulate running to some extent if it is in your pocket, which we did prove got better results than having the phone out. But ladies and gentlemen, we are here today to finally try to shatter some records. You're not gonna believe that people actually do this. We're gonna actually test this method out. Of course, it does seem really cool, but how good is it going to be? We are gonna find out today, and that is the Stepmaster 9000. Yeah, go ahead and check this thing out. Uh, actually, it's not named that, but it's in Japanese, and I don't really know what it's called, but yes, it is like some type of phone shaker or something. Maybe you've seen this. You know, it's definitely kind of a meme or a joke. I wanna go ahead and test this out just to see if it is good or not. I'm really not sure sure what to expect. Is it going to take over the sock? Is it going to be the new crown method? We're just going to have to wait and see. So the first thing that we really need to take a look at is of course the packaging and as you can tell based on this packaging it's uh, definitely a high quality item and a lot of time and energy was definitely invested into making this box. Basically when it showed up, the only thing holding it together was the actual packaging itself for what they sent it in. The box is absolutely falling apart, but what we are going to do is go ahead and unbox it and then we are just going to take a look at all the pieces and I'm gonna go ahead and build this thing so that way we can get out there and test it. So as far as that is concerned, the individual packing doesn't look to be that bad. I am gonna have to spend a little bit of time actually building this little thing, but I'm definitely excited for it. Definitely gonna be a little bit of a challenge, but hopefully not too big of a deal. So we finally got it set up and ready to go. If you go ahead and take a look at what I put around this, basically what was happening is it started kind of like walking itself off of the desk and I don't want my phone to be damaged just by putting on this experiment. But for those of you curious as to how this works, I do think it has something to do with this piece here along with the three balls that provide some weight. This appears to have some type of like magnetic compound to it. And I think that basically once it starts swinging, it tries to go back to it, but it's not strong enough to quite hold it there. Therefore, it ends up swinging itself until you intervene with it. So that's actually what we are going to do. In the previous experiments, we had it go for 10 minutes and that is what our time limit is. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing started, let this thing swing for 10 minutes, and then I will get back to you with the results. So now that we have the final results, of course I do have the screenshot from when I first started it. The ideal goal that we have is 1.6 kilometers from the sock. So since we started out at 0.9, we are just gonna have to look and see whether or not it ended up crossing that 2.5 threshold to basically tie it. So when we go ahead and take a look at this, um, you're actually not gonna believe this. Out of all that work, out of paying you know, for something like this, the results were nothing. It actually did not pick up absolutely any of the distance. Now, I'm sure that kind of depends on the device or whatever, but it just goes to show kind of how funny this is. It seems to be like the most official way that you could like gain distance, right? Like obviously in a cheating method or whatever, but it uh, didn't get any distance whatsoever. I mean, I definitely think it's entertaining. I think it's cool, but at the same time, it doesn't even serve a purpose, but it is funny that people are actually kind of going to this extent to try to gain distance and stuff but yeah it's definitely been fun trying out all of these methods apparently the sock is definitely uh the king of all of these methods so i've definitely enjoyed this type of series i do think that this kind of puts it to a close i don't think we are going to be able to beat the sock method but if something does come up in the future or something kind of interesting that people point out i'll definitely be willing to test it but anyways i hope you did enjoy this episode if you did make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you next time I wanted to extend a huge thank you to the supporters over at Patreon. You definitely make this possible and I 100% appreciate this support. If you are interested in supporting my channel on Patreon, definitely feel free to check out the link in the description.